Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Juliet from Julings TV. Yeah, so today we are going to be making porridge plantain. Yeah, porridge plantain. I know a few people would know this, but few of you might not know it as well. So it's a very very local dish. It's mostly made in Delta Igbo. So I'm going to be using um, green unripe plantain. Yeah, unripe plantain, not ripe, the green plantain. That's what I'm going to be using. You can see it's diced already. Next, I'm going to be using grinded crayfish. You know, I don't like to make local dishes without grinded crayfish. So I'm going to have in grinded crayfish to eat. Next, I'm going to be adding my big crayfish. Yes, I like big crayfish in my food. You know, just you know when you are eating, you pick it. Then you can see I grinded the head separately. This is the head, the grinded head of the um, big crayfish. I don't like wasting my big crayfish. I do not waste it. So next, I'm going to be using my palm oil. Yes, palm oil next thing i'm going to be using my salt to taste i'm going to be using scent leaf yeah scent leaf yes guys scent leaf comes out well it makes this food come out well so well they're going to love it and next i'm going to be using grinded pepper yes grinded pepper i'm not using robot today or i'm using grinded pepper today so i'm going to be using grinded pepper Next, I'm going to be using my fish. Yes, fish, fish, fish. I have two fish there. I have smoked catfish and I have smoked panla fish. You can see them. Yeah, this is the this is the panla fish. This is the smoked panla fish, and the other this one is the catfish. I'm having this catfish because I want this local taste to it. That's I'm adding the look. That, that's I'm adding that catfish. If you don't, you cannot find the catfish, or you cannot afford it. You can just go straight to just use your panla fish. There is no problem about that. But you want to have both fish because I like to eat plenty of fish in my meal. That is something I like. I don't like fancy meals. I know you guys would have noticed me for that. So yeah, I'm using both fish for the meal. So next, my magic crayfish. Yeah, I know you guys are going to say I'm too addicted. Like I'm too addicted to magic crayfish. Yes, when I'm making local meals, I like to use magic crayfish. That is just one thing you should know about me. If I'm making soup, if I'm making any local meal, I will use my magic crayfish. Yes, it will make it more tasty. Then next, I'm going to be using this um pepper soup spice. Pepper soup. Spice. Next, I'm going to use pepper soup spice. Yes, pepper soup spice. I don't know this particular name, or the name of this particular pepper soup spice, but I know many of you seeing it, you understand that you you know. I know you see it in the market. You have you might even have it at home. So this pepper soup is just one of my pepper soup spice. I'm going to make pepper soup for you one day for you guys to see. I don't like using grinded pepper soup spice from the market. So now I'm breaking. Sorry, that fell off. I'm breaking. I'm going to break the pepper soup spice for you guys to see what is inside. Yeah, you break it with your teeth. Then you see what I brought out of it so that you understand what I meant when I said pepper soup spice. It's just one. It's just one of the pepper soup spices that I use. But I'm using just this. I'm not going to be using those long black ones yet. I think my next video is going to be a pepper soup um, video so that you guys can see. So that is, you can see I removed the shell on the right hand and on the left I have my, um, I have my um, pepper soup spice. Yes. So that's it guys. So let's start cooking guys. I placed my pot on fire and I poured my plantain inside the pot. So, put my plantain inside the pot. So now I'm going to be adding my ingredients. Yes, you can see the plantain. It's diced, properly diced. So I'm added my water. You know, plantain probably needs water to cook. 
the plantain needs water to cook so after adding my water now i'm adding my pepper my grinded pepper i love pepper i love pepper so i like my food to be very very spicy not really spicy but spicy so if you don't love pepper or you don't like pepper just reduce the pepper so next i'm adding my salt to taste So the next thing I'm going to be adding is my Maggi crayfish, just one of the Maggi crayfish. So next thing I'm going to be adding is my big cray fish yeah you're gonna wash it rinse it and then pour it inside you can see it's washed so i'm pouring it inside my plantain porridge now you know it needs to cook so that the juice of that crayfish and the juice of the plantain will mix together so now I'm adding my grinded head, my grinded crayfish head. Yeah, the big crayfish head. I'm adding it right now. So now you stir together. Now I'm adding more water because I feel like that water is not going to be enough for me. So I'm adding more water to it. So now I will cover to boil. I will cover it to cook. I will wait till the plantain is cooked. That is what I mean. Like you wait till the plantain is thoroughly cooked. plantain is soft already yeah i let it to cook very very well if you cook um on right plantain you understand what i'm trying to say so while that was cooking i made i prepared that um pepper soup spice that i showed you guys the other time so i was i prepared the pepper soup spice what i did was that i broke three of that um pepper soup spice after break i brought out the seeds of those three pepper soup spice then i i grinded it i grinded it with, i pounded it with my mortar then that was what i brought out if you don't have mortar to pound it very very well to give you this powder powder um result you can also use your grinding stone your blender if you don't have a blender to do that for you you can easily throw three of those pepper soup spice into a paper wrap it all together then you use stone or maybe bottle to you know turn it into powder inside the paper so when you are through you just open the powder uh, the paper and pour the powder 
into your food that was what i did that was exactly what i did to this um um pepper soup spice i just pounded mine with my little mortar that i have at home that was i used in pounding mine then now i'm going to be adding it inside this porridge so now i'll stir together for it to mix well you will not want the the powder the progressive spice powder to be in one side of the dish and the other not have it so i i mixed it well together so then while the plantain was also cooking i removed the the bone from my fish i move all bones from my fish so now i'm going to be adding this fish into the um into the pot so i made sure that there is no single bone there is no bone in this fish at all i deboned it totally So now I had in more grinded pepper because I told you guys I love pepper so much. So I'm having more grinded pepper because when I tasted it, I didn't get the exact pepper I needed. Half, like I'm having just half of the Maggie crayfish. I did not have one. I did not have the full one. I'm having just half of that Maggie crayfish. Now I'm having more water for it to cook more because we want the fish to, you know, the juice of the fish inside everything all juice to be mixed together and at the same time the plantain so i had it i'm adding little water to it again so i to be able to cook very well so now cover it again I'm going to leave this time to go for five minutes. So now is the time for me to have my grinded crayfish. Yes, my grinded crayfish powder from the market. I grinded this one from the market. I bought those small small crayfish and I grinded it from the market so you guys will understand. So now I'm adding my palm oil. Yeah, I'm adding my palm oil. Our our porridge is coming together little by little, you know. I didn't have all that spam oil. Yeah, so. Now I'm staring very well to mix that crayfish that I had it together
so I added the remaining like I'm adding the remaining oil from the from the plate I told you before that I didn't add everything but now I added it I'm adding everything because I I wanted the oil to be you know to be more there then I covered the pot again to cook for just this time not up to five minutes this time just three two three minutes it's boiled so I'm mixing again so now it's time for me to add my scent leaf so my scent leaf is washed and cut like I've diced it already like I've cut it already so now I'm going to be putting it inside my plantain porridge yes you can see it's thoroughly washed and sliced so adding it into my plantain porridge make sure that you had your scent leaf when the plantain is already done like when it's cooked why i'm saying this is because scent leaf does not need so much time to cook yes so you cover to cook again for just few minutes. Now guys our plantain is ready plantain porridge is ready you can see how pretty it looks yeah and it's so tasty so yummy everything about this plantain like I don't <laughs> I don't want to in fact like the plantain is so sweet so tasty so yummy I think I need to repeat it again just try out this plantain porridge and you tell like you will thank me later I don't need to I'm not boasting just try it out follow this text and everything will be fine like you are going to love it you're going to enjoy it you're really really going to enjoy it yes so now you know my 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 like you know my signature by now you know my signature by now that I'm going to taste from this plantain porridge so thanks for watching guys i love you yeah i love you please subscribe to my channel share this video comment you are free to comment on the comment section it's a free world let's interact yes guys like this video just click the like button subscribe to my channel share this video thanks so much guys bye